I am Trudy Griffith, President and a Trustee of the Diabetes Association of Barbados. I am a trained clinical pharmacist by profession. In my capacity as President of the Diabetes Association, I want to assure you that being diagnosed with diabetes is not the end of the world. Even though the news can be quite devastating to you because you know of persons who have had diabetes and they have had lots of bad experiences with diabetes, I want to assure you that that is not your fate. You can have a different outcome. All you need to do is to control your blood sugar. Even though it is going to be mentally a challenge for you, there are resources available to talk you through and walk you through the first few moments of your journey with diabetes. In fact, you can contact us at the Diabetes Association of Barbados and we will make sure that you get in contact with those resources so that we can help you in your journey with diabetes. So therefore, you need to give some feedback to your physician so they will know how to help you get your blood sugar under control. Your physician is not going to be the only person that you will need. We have diabetes resource nurses on island who can assist you. You will also need to make sure that your ophthalmologist, your dentist, you will probably need the assistance of a podiatrist as well as someone who will help you to take care of your feet. We have so many resource persons that you can call on to make sure that your blood sugars are going to be controlled and you do not end up with complications from diabetes. There are many medications on the market to help you control your blood sugar. Obviously, insulin comes to mind because insulin is at the heart of diabetes. So therefore, if your doctors prescribe insulin for you to help manage your blood sugar, please Please take it to heart, come on board, help to get your blood sugar under control. There are other classes of medications as well that can help control your blood sugar. There are those medications that will help support how the insulin works. And there are medications that will help improve the function of the insulin that you produce. That just because your diabetes might not be controlled with conventional medications, it does not mean it's the end of the world. You may even start to distrust the medications that your physician is prescribing for you, and you may turn to natural or alternative therapies. I am not knocking anything because certainly I can tell that you want to do what is right for you. So it depends on the person. I cannot make a blanket statement that these alternative treatments are not going to work because you are unique and I don't know what will work for you. So if you are going to try alternative treatments, please inform your physician. And please keep in contact with your physician so they know what you are doing and what you are taking because we want to make sure that we are achieving the ultimate goal, which is getting your blood sugar under control. Living with diabetes is hard work, and the global outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic has not made life for persons with diabetes any easier. In fact, what we now recognize, and this is what the scientific community is saying, is that COVID-19 is worse for persons living with diabetes, but uncontrolled diabetes. So therefore, the key here is to get your blood sugars under control. But that doesn't mean that you are not at risk. You are just as at risk as the person beside you who is not living with diabetes. So you need to follow all of the precautions that are given in terms of wearing face masks, sanitizing your hands. You literally have to treat every person with whom you come into contact as though they might be carrying the coronavirus. So therefore, employ all the precautions that you need to do at home, at work, and at school. Diabetes can cause complications if the blood sugars are not controlled. And therefore, it can affect multiple organs in your body, including your eyes, your feet, your circulation, and even sexual activity. What is the goal? What is the aim that we wish for you? We want you to maintain your blood sugars within the normal range so that you don't have those complications. The reason why we are concerned and why we advocate for you to have normal blood sugars is that when your blood sugars are too high, it will affect your nerves and it will affect your blood vessels. And these are two critical elements that you need working well to make sure that you do not have complications. So if your blood sugars are uncontrolled, you will have problems with your vision that may eventually lead to decreased vision or even blindness. 
in terms of your feet you will have numbing of your feet and tingling which indicates that you're starting to have nerve problems and problems with your vessels which means that you can go on to have um, serious foot issues and that may even lead to amputation so we definitely want to avoid that in terms of sexual activity if your blood vessels and your nerves are affected it means that you are not going to have sexual relations with your partner which are satisfactory so we want to make sure in the case of men that you make sure that you maintain your erections so that you will continue to have um, optimal performance and women that you can continue to enjoy relations with your partner. In closing, how do you get more information about diabetes? Call us at the Diabetes Association of Barbados. You can even visit our websites. You can go on our platforms um, on Instagram and Facebook and look for information there. You can find information on the websites of other diabetes associations across the world. And you can even go to our international affiliate, the International Diabetes Federation, where they can provide more information for you on diabetes. You can do it. We can help.